Aloha. It's uh, Todd from the skates.co.uk scooter team, the team manager. Uh, back with you again. Uh, this time I've got a wicked new toy to play with. I have a test model of the brand new K2 Park Pro scooter. Pretty stoked about this. I get to be one of the first people in the UK to ride one of these. And it looks the bomb. I've seen pictures of it, seen a video of it. Uh, it looks pretty bizarre for a scooter and it has some pretty cool specs so we're going to look at what it comes like uh, out of the box. So, <coughs> let's uh, put it in the box shall we? See what we get inside. Alright, usual loads of cardboard stuff. Let's see. Alright, first up, set of bars. Looking quite a nice set of bars here. Uh, let's have a closer look at these. This is looking pretty neat actually. They're, I think they're 23 high, um, 18 wide, which is a little bit less than I like to ride. I've just been riding Nitro recently and they've got like 22 wide, so I've got used to that. It's a real nice, re actually really nice grips, like not like a Razor Ultra Pro ones that cut into your hand. Uh, these are, yeah, seem quite nice. Need a bit of wearing in maybe. Nice bar ends. Um, they're actually better than they look in the picture. In the picture they've got flanges, you don't need flanges on the screw really. And then a really awesome industrial looking clamp. Maybe you can see that there, like a triple clamp. Real nice looking. Looks cool. Alrighty then. So that's the bars, like 23 high, 18 wide, 4130 chrono molly, so it should be nice and strong, oversized for the HIC system. That uh, they fit around which is attached to our deck. Here we go in here. Here we have the bizarre, bizarre shape, K2 Park Pro deck. Look at that bad boy. It does, certainly doesn't look like any deck I've ever ridden. But, um, yeah. So, uh, let's uh, have a look across this then, shall we? So, here we have the, the hick set up. I've, this is the literally the first time I've taken a look at this, so it's a bit of a different hick setup. It doesn't have it doesn't have a uh, appear to have an Allen key top in it. Oh no, it does. It has a little thing to go in the Allen key. It comes come really tight, but then my Nitro came with a really tight hick setup as well. It has um, so there's there's a hick shim, there's the top cap. I'm not sure if it's a big long hick bolt or the small one with a star nut. I'll take it apart in a second, have a look. Um, then we've got an FSA mallet headset, which is a very nice headset. Um, not integrated, but it's still, still very nice. Then you've got this bizarre head tube. It's all built in. It's all welded there. Um, and you've got a really pretty sweet looking set of forks. Look kind of like nitro forks. Um, big enough to run 110. It comes with yeah, a set of 110s. These appear to be plastic cores. I thought it was going to come. I think it comes with metal cores. I don't know. It, it, they're plastic cores on it um, at the moment. This might be just for the the early model that I've got. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of other wheels out there. Um, and pegs. I think it might be like a nitro setup that you might have to use the maybe the 81 pegs or the Mad Gear pegs uh, if you run pegs. Then we come down to this deck. This um, this bizarrely shaped deck. The deck grip tape goes all the way up um, and all the way to the back, so full deck grip tape. Um, and it looks going to be pretty mammoth for high fives. Might get my nitro deck out and see how it compares in length. Um, and there's the brake. Very like big, chunky brake, like it's become, become, become the standard now. It's a real nice brake, actually. It's got a real nice motion. Uh, it's got an ordinary spring. It might be like a sliding brake. Yeah, it appears to be. It's a sliding section at the back. Slides in to the back, and it kind of. I guess it's a big. Looks like a big kind of L-shaped, uh, U-shaped piece that goes in there. 
around the wheel. Another 110 wheel at the back. Yeah, we take this baby apart and see, see how it all goes together. Okay, no, I just want to fetch my uh, my nitro because this is going to be the main competitor, I reckon. The, the amount of kit that this has got on it, um, the hick and the 110 wheels, uh, threadless forks, uh, stuff like that. I'm going to just compare it. My, my nitro is not totally stock. Let's uh, have a look at the dimension. So here we go. Here's the, the length of the deck wheelbase, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, Standable area on the deck might be a little bit shorter, like a centimeter. Um, but then you've got here, you can have your foot up there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome for hang flies if you like your foot all the way up here. It's gonna be absolutely nuts because like, what well, I if I hang five here, well I try and hang five here, uh, but some people like to have their foot up right up on the neck tube, so it's gonna be absolutely sick for that. But yeah, everything is really comparable, like. Here's missing the metal cord, but the then the full model is going to have that. Obviously, you've got the hick, which is pretty sweet. Uh, threadless headset, threadless forks. It's got a lot, really. Um, yeah, the bars. I think the bars are a lot, quite a bit slimmer than the ones on the nitro. Uh, there you go. So there's my batwing nitro batwing. There's my uh, there's the K2 ones over the top. So, it, but to be honest, I ride really wide bars compared to a lot of people. Um, the UK standard is probably 18 wide, which is exactly what these are, and height uh, identical, identical height. No back sweep though. I've got nice and used to the back sweep, but still, most people don't like back sweep. So flat bars. Um, let's uh, let's have a look how this works. I'm gonna whip out my Allen keys. I can see where I put them down. Always losing my Allen keys. So. Looking Apex fives need wearing in. Yeah, slide and break. That's that is dope. That is very cool. Real neat. Like doesn't doesn't take any strength out of the deck at all. This is going to be one solid solid deck. I mean, it's not light. Oh, what is it? But it's totally comparable to a nitro. Probably maybe a little bit lighter. 
Um, it's seriously, seriously light. If we wanted to have a look at, it at the bottom, it's pretty smooth. I'm not sure. I'm just wondering what it'd be like for grinding. I'd say probably pretty fine. It's just it's gonna be funny for like blunts and stuff like that. Be a bit weird. Like Scootman hasn't really seen anything like this before, but um, I don't. I think this could catch on, man. It's it's. I mean, yeah, the deck looks fine. It looks. I mean, it's, oh, it's gonna be super strong. Super strong. Great deck in. Yeah, I just I think the only th I think maybe the only problem is if you wanted to ride it with like a flex fender or something, it's not going to be too easy to chain to um, to like put it to a flex fender. I mean, you're going to have to find some kind of spacer because the 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 brake is all an integral part of putting the wheel together, kind of thing. Finally got the wheel back on, a little bit fiddly, but all brakes are, I mean, just have to squeeze it down, it's actually considerably easier than most brakes. I'm going to put it together completely, show you what it looks like together. Okay, there we go. The K2 Park Pro Scooter from head to toe. So we've got the grips, we've got the 18 by 23 bars, triple stack clamp, HIC compression, FSA mallet headset, a pair of threadless K2 forks, their own brand one, a set of 110mm uh, uh, plastic cores with AVIC 5 bearings. Um, this Brand new, crazy deck, full deck grip tape, uh, full deck. You like, you can put your feet on it. Wicked sliding brake system, and another 110 on the back. Um, all in all, this thing is looking boss. I mean, it comes with pretty much everything that a nitro comes with. Mad nitro, um, except the wheels. The wheels are the only down point at the moment. Uh, but the rest of it looks amazing. Um, I mean, I'd like wider bars, but I'm sure most people wouldn't. This deck looks super strong. Uh, head tube angle, looking pretty standard. Must be an 81, something like that. Um, looking similar to the thing, but I think I think this is coming in at 150 pounds, which is like 75 quid cheaper than a Nitro or like a Grip Mayhem or something like that, and it's got everything they've got uh, for quite a bit less. And it's got this cool deck, I mean it's all innovative, it's all, like it's got a real nice headset, uh, big triple clamp, nice set of bars, um, yeah, it's just, it looks wicked man, for the price, it just, I don't know, I think it's going to be wicked, but uh, let's try it out, let's, uh, I'm going to go riding on it uh, this weekend with, um, and I'm going to, uh, with the guys from the team, I'm going to pass it around to them. Uh, get some clips of them riding it and uh, get their thoughts on it. So uh, yeah, that's the only thing. It's the, it's the, that's the real testing point, really. How does it feel to ride? That is my uh, unboxing of our test model of the. Ow, nearly dropped it. Uh, K2 Park Pro, uh, which is available shortly. Uh, we've got a nice early one, but uh, shortly be available for you guys from. Case.co.uk, yep, and uh, look out for our riders at your local park. Um, and a big shout out to all them and all the guys at Skates. Thank you very much for letting us have a go on this. Thanks to the guys at K2 for letting us have a go on it as well. We're going to test it out. Stick around for a video of testing it out.